I was wondering what you think of Michel de Montaigne. His essays were on the church's list of banned books at some point, but I don't know for how long. I've heard various things about him, but I would really value your thoughts. From what I've heard, it appears he always kept his faith and died in communion with the Catholic Church, yet was an extreme skeptic who believed man can know nothing. No, that's all true. Next. The, no. Those two, uh, theme, the, those two viewpoints seem ir uh, irreconcilable. They would, uh, I suppose, until you stop and think about how people really are. You remember uh, especially how Frenchmen are. A bit later than Montaigne, though not much, uh, was a fellow called Pascal. And Pascal came up with what was called Pascal's Wager, mm -hmm. which is that if the faith is true, uh, and one believes it, one may go to heaven, one doesn't, he won't. Yeah. If the faith is not true, no one's going to heaven. Right. And so even the person who thinks that the faith is false doesn't win. You're right. So that's called Pascal's wager. Well, it reflects the same kind of mindset. In other words, a practical skepticism with a theoretical belief, which is very hard to reconcile for most people. Uh, de Montaigne had a beautiful writing style, very clear, very uh, convincing on the uh, on grounds of its clarity but ultimately erroneous, uh, which is why I don't know how long it was on, but his, his uh, work was, in fact, on the index. I don't remember how long. Um, but nevertheless, as a, these were all, for him, theoretical things. In practical terms, he was a Catholic. He was a practicing Catholic? No. So, okay, so he was just skeptic in name, I guess, in well, his theory. Well, uh, in theory. Yeah. But, um, you know, again, he also liked to poke fun at church corruption and things like that. He liked to poke fun at corruption of all cats, which, as with Erasmus in the 1500s, made him rather unpopular amongst churchmen. Mm -hmm. But like Erasmus, However, skeptically, he might have been a churchman. He believed in the church. I know it's hard to believe that there could have been a time when people saw clergy as different from the faith, as the faith is something that is wonderful and true, but that clerics can be good or bad depending on how they adhere to the faith. I know that that's a hard concept to wrap our heads around today. Gosh. But yeah, but he must have lived a long time ago. When was it, when was, did he live? Yeah, seventeenth century, sixteen wow. hundreds. Very very long time ago. Everything's different now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else we got? 